Hi guys, Christina here from See You Online, back with another Canva tutorial. Today we're gonna go through how to remove the front layer of a design so that the background color shows through. So the background color would be your t-shirt. So say there's a piece of your design that you don't want there and you actually want it to be cut out of the design. If you use Photoshop or Illustrator, I believe this is called Remove Front but it isn't as easy on Canva, but here is my workaround. And trust me, you're gonna use this a lot. I use this so much in my designs because it's just really nice to not have to just pick the color of the shirt if you're applying this to multiple colored shirts. And it just looks a lot nicer on some designs to have the background color shine through. Okay. So I'm gonna show you one of my design styles that I would probably use this on. There are so many different use cases, so this could just be an inspiration for you for another style, or you can apply this to any other design that you can think of. But I'm gonna create like a university looking shirt. And so what I'm gonna do is I have my college block letter. I couldn't think of a word right now, so let's just stick with Boston. And I'm going to add whoop, a curve to that. I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. And then say I wanted to create, you know how they usually have the EST 2023, established 2023. So first what I like to do is just make that box. So let me go over how to do that. So you can hit the, I don't know what's called, the front dash, and it'll bring up what is called the smart box. And you can hit, grab a few different um, shapes from here. So I'm gonna grab two circles, I'm gonna color them black. Oop. I'm gonna copy that and paste it using Command C, Command V on my Mac. Oops. I'm gonna hit that for forward dash again. I'm gonna open up a rectangle and just match that to the right sizing. You can also zoom in just to make sure it lines up correctly. Oh, it's because it's not centered. All right, there we go. And now I'm gonna group these. So I'm gonna highlight it all and hit Command G or you can just right click and hit group or ungroup. And then let's make this smaller. I'm gonna move this here and then let's go grab our text again. You can do that by hitting the T button and just type in EST 2023. I'm gonna make that white and I'm also gonna use the college block again and just put that on top. So there we go, we have like a university looking shirt, but again, the problem is yes, on this canvas right now, it looks see-through because the background is also white, but say we had a different color shirt this is not going to look as great. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna cut out this text from our background shape. So to be able to do that, first we're gonna save this as a PNG file with transparent background. You are gonna need Canva Pro to be able to do this. Hit download and transparent background and make sure the file type is PNG. Okay, now that we have that saved, what we're going to do is hit add page. And I'm gonna try it this way first. I'm gonna show you another way in case this doesn't work. But what you're gonna do is on this new page, bring in that file that we had just saved, which is the Boston PNG. Once that has shown up, go on up here and hit edit image. And let's try it this way first, not guaranteed to work, but the quick way is to try background remover, which often does look for the white to remove. Oh, and this is exactly what I mean. Sometimes it doesn't work so great. I find it used to work a lot better before, but let's go to our backup then. Again, you can try this, it might work for you, and that would be the quickest way. I always just try it. But I do have this website as a back, backup, which is called Remove White Background Free Online Tool. You can find this by going on Google and just search searching up white background remover, and it's usually like my fourth or fifth one that comes up or you can type this in, remove white background.imageonline.co. There are a bunch of other options that are gonna come up on Google for you. I've tried a bunch of them, and honestly, I just haven't found one that has done better than this one. So this is always my go-to. So 
You can upload your image, which was our Boston image again. And it's gonna bring it up here. You can also set your white level. So say you have things that are like off white, it might not pick up that and it's only gonna pick up like the pure white. You can have low sensitivity or high sensitivity. This one usually works, so I'm gonna hit this. And I'm just gonna download this image. I love how quickly this works for a free tool. And then we're going to, again, just bring in that file. And there you go. Now that we've dragged back in that file, you can see that the established 2023 is now cut out of the background image. This is great if you plan to have this design on many different colors because one, it matches 100% to the t-shirt color behind and you don't have to keep uploading a bunch of different color designs, one like with the 2023 matching every single color design that you plan to print on. So you can go ahead and upload this and apply it to multiple colors at once and list this on your Etsy. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any other Canva questions because figuring out things on Canva that might seem a bit tricky is one of my favorite things to do. I love finding these workarounds and I am 100% a Canva fan, even though they make some things quite difficult. All right, thank you very much. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel.